Hey guys, I want to go ahead and do a fencing garden optimization problem. And we'll do this real quickly. Very easy, very simple. The first thing it says is it has a rectangular garden. A farmer has 230 feet. Well, that means that he has 230 feet to go all the way around. Well, that would go like so. And what happens? Well, next is asking us for the largest area. So what I'm going to do is I will write A max, just like so. Now after you draw, you want to label it. So I'm going to label it X and Y. The X will be my vertical. And my Y will be my horizontal. Now what do you know about perimeter? Well, perimeter is adding everything around. So we have our two X's plus our two Y's should equal 230 feet. Now what else do we know? We know that area is equal to the length times the width. Now what you want to do, you want to solve one equation and then plug that back into the other equation. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. We are going to clean this guy up here. Let me factor out a 2 we are going to get 2 times the quantity x plus y 230 divide by 2 that simplifies to a 1 so we get x plus y is equal to 115 we are going to continue to solve for y <coughs> excuse me and we should get 115 minus x now this guy here we are going to use him and plug him back in there to our area equation. So instead of area or our a of x, we are going to have x. Instead of y, we will use 115 minus x. When we go ahead and distribute that x, we should have 115x minus x squared. Now, if you remember, what are they asking for? They are asking for the maximum area. Well, what is the maximum area? If you remember, this is a quadratic, a parabola. So the maximum area is at the vertex point. So the vertex is equal to negative b over 2a. In this case, negative b is the second term, which is 115. And the a is the first term, which is our x squared, which would be negative 1. And when you simplify this out, you should get 57.5. Now, that's not your answer. You have to go ahead and plug that back in into your function to figure out a value. So the value of the function at 57.5 is equal to 115 times 57.5 minus 57.5 squared and when you do the math you should get 3,306 feet squared and that's how you do that one